Yeah. What's good, YouTube? Just leaving the gym and shit. And, um, just got a good workout in, did cardio and some calisthenics movements, push ups, pull ups, dips, uh, shit like that. But I was sitting here thinking, you know, before I left, I was just, you know, in my head, you know, thinking about, you know, what, you know, fears of mine, shit like that, right? Now, one of my biggest fears, you know, that came to mind, you know, this is, you know, other than, you know, gas probably reaching $12 or, you know, a spider biting me on my nuts or some shit like that, you know, or drowning, you know, is, you know, not reaching my full potential. You know, I sit here, sit here, you know, at 28, and, you know, I made good progress for myself. I've been doing all right in life, you know, better than a lot of dudes I know and better than a lot of people I know who, you know, went to school with, shit like that. You know, I've, I've been doing pretty good for myself, but, you know, I just feel like I'm still not where I want to be and I'm not at the level that I think I should be at yet. And that could be me, you know, just being hard on myself, pressuring myself and things like that, but... At the same time, it's just, you know, as much as it's impatience, it's like uncertainty. Because, you know, I don't know when I'll, you know, be my last day here. Just like you don't know when your last day is going to be here. So it's like, I don't want to go before I feel like I've tapped that potential, or at least gotten close to it, or at least touched it, you know, at least grasped it. Right, so yeah, it is. It is like a sense. Of maybe I'm being impatient because you know maybe I do have more time, but it's also in my head like, what if I don't? You know, uh, it's it's sometimes it's a frustration, especially you know these days and age, day and age where everything on social media is so um, highlight reel. Everything is so fabulous and luxurious and shit like that you know you see people younger than you you might see kids that's 18 and shit like that with, with bands of money and nice cars and shit like that you might see people living these uh, traveling lives and shit like that just doing a bunch of shit that you're like damn i want to do that i want to do that why ain't i there yet you know what i'm saying like what's wrong with me right and I'm not gonna lie, I, I deal with some of this type of shit too. Like I sit there, I see some of my friends, you know, progressing a little bit faster than me, you know, doing bigger shit, bigger things than I am. And you know, not in a competition way, like I'm, I'm jealous or nothing like that. It's just like, wait, what's taking me so long? Why, you know, why am I not, you know, grinding hard enough? Why am I not there yet? Maybe I'm not putting in enough work or maybe I'm not moving as fast, you know, things like that. But at the same time, it's like, I can't compare my story, my journey to theirs. Cause I don't know what all they went through to get to where they at, right? The same way, like they don't know my story. They don't know how somebody else might be looking at me thinking I'm better off than, you know, them, but they don't know my story and know what uh, trials, tribulations and struggles I had to go through to get to where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. That's always just, you know, battling you, just trying to become better. I know I say it all the time, trying to become the best version of yourself. Trying to get 1% better every day. But, you know, I'd be lying if I said, like, that wasn't a fear of mine to just not reach my potential. Or just, because it's like, I don't know about y'all, but it's like I have, like, a variety of passions that I want to pursue, right? But with all of those options, it's like... Which one do I, you know, dial in on and focus on first? Right? Like, I love working out. I just, I love it. I enjoy it. It, it gives me stress relief. It, it puts me in a good, sharp mind space. It helps my body develop. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it gives me so much. And it changed my life for real. So I love it. I love the whole fitness lifestyle. The dieting, the everything. The highs and lows of it. I love it. It's a passion of mine, right? But I also enjoy... Uh, music, I like to rap. I love rapping. Been doing this since I was a kid. And I 
I'm not gonna spit no fucking freestyle for y'all right now. If you wanna see my shit, go to my fucking Instagram page. You know. Um, but music, man, it's just I love to create. I love putting words together. I love spitting some some shit, spitting that shit where it's like people can relate, people can feel it. You know, I like just being having when I'm because I'm so confident behind it. You know, I know I'm nice. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like I have to sit here and you know try to be something I'm not. I just be me behind the mic. You feel me? I love music. Um, I also enjoy videos. I enjoy this YouTube shit. Um, if you didn't know, back to the music shit, like when I first started, I was editing my own fucking music videos on Final Cut Pro and shit. I was just learning as I go. I was editing my own music videos, learning tips and tricks on YouTube. And that shit became fun to me. Like, even before this channel, I had another channel where I, before all of this shit, like back in 2012, I was doing YouTube skits and shit like that. Like, before YouTube was even as popping as it is, like, for a bunch of content creators and all this other shit. I was doing skits and shit like that. Like, just being, cause I'm funny, I'm naturally funny. Like, you know me, you grew up around me, you know I'm a goofball and shit like that once you get cool with me. But, like that's that's just, it's, it's a passion of mine. I like to be funny, I like to make people laugh, I like to make people feel good, all of that. And, you know, and just even, it's just so much more, I don't wanna get into every fucking aspect, but just like, with all of those things, I don't know what to dial in on. So it's like sometimes it, it becomes, I get so, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I get so hindered by the, the choice of what to dial in on, I end up not moving at all, you know what I'm saying? Not making a move at all, not doing anything. And that's even more detrimental than anything. It's procrastination and wasting time that I already just sit here and say that I don't know how much fucking time a nigga got, right? Now, I hope I'm not rambling, but I know some of y'all can relate to this shit, too. It's like, but as I sit here and think, like, I don't want to sit here on my last days or look back and, like, damn, I really could have did that. I definitely could have been that and just have a, a list of regrets or just being afraid to go because I know I didn't unlock everything inside of me. You know what I'm saying? I was drinking tea one night. <laughs> it's random ass connection, right? Um, I don't know if, if y'all drink tea or not, but if you get the Yogi brand of tea, it always comes with like the little uh, spiritual quotes on the shit, on the tag of it. And the one I read the other night was, um, don't leave this world with your gifts still inside of you. Now, I don't know if that was just like a sign or some shit, but I'm pretty sure most of them shit say that in there in the damn tea box. They probably only wrote so many of them, right? But just the fact that that's what I was already feeling, just to see that on the fucking tea thing was just like an enlightenment for me. It's just like a sign for real. It's just like that everything I'm feeling is real. Like, So that's why I've been going so hard with this YouTube shit now. Like, I'm gonna stay consistent with this shit. You're gonna see, and I promise you this time around, I'm not bullshitting anymore. I've been saying that since I started these shits. I'm gonna be more active on here, blah, blah, fucking blah. But now I'm dead serious. If I'm not posting two videos a day, I'm posting one video a day. If I'm not posting one video a day, I'm posting two videos a day, three videos a day. However the fuck much I want, to be honest, but I'm trying to stay consistent and shit because I know it's possible. I see people do it all the time. I see people do it all the time, it's possible. Like everybody, there's plenty of people. Like you, it's all these channels, all this content, all these creators out here, and it, the possibility is endless. Like you can, you can really make money off this YouTube shit, and then make money in a lot of aspects. But at the same time, I don't want to be complaining if I don't, and I didn't even put in the fucking work. All right. So from now on, as a message to myself and to y'all. You know, this is Wolfgang lifestyle, right? So everything we do is a lifestyle. The goal is to be the best you can be in whatever you do and finish it. You know what I'm saying? Don't start nothing and don't finish it. I think I heard Kevin Hart said that. I mean, you hear it your whole life. Don't start shit and don't finish it. But that's the goal. You know, consistency kills. Consistency kills. So that's the goal to stay consistent 
be the best you can be, not anybody else, be the best that you can be at whatever the fuck you're doing, and then finish it completely. So that's the goal. And just hoping that, hoping that you're allotted enough time to uh, unlock your potential and be the best version that you can be here in this existence. And, and along the way, hopefully you can inspire and motivate and change other people's lives, you know, because the highest, the highest uh, human act is to inspire. So hopefully, you know, you can do that along the way, help other people get on, put other people in the best positions that they can be and just stay honorable and respectful, you know, staying close to your core values and, and principles as a man and all, and have principles and values as a man, you feel me? So, you know, tonight, you know, if you see this video or whenever you see this video, you know, sit down, you know, write out, write out your goals, your passions and shit like that, right? And this, and, and, and then write why aren't you doing them? What's stopping you? And then you're gonna write out all your fucking excuses and shit that you're gonna say, I don't have the time, I'm not blah, blah, fucking blah. And you know what the, the real answer is? Nothing. Nothing is stopping you from doing any of this shit, but you. Cause I had all these excuses and shit. I'm not doing this, that, and the third. And it's really just me. And once you take that accountability, watch how your life changes. Once you accept the fact that everything going good or going wrong in your life is your fucking fault, watch how your life changes. Because at that point, the blame has to get placed on the only person that it can be placed, and that's on you. We all get dealt a hand, whether it's shitty or it's good or whatever, but you just got to play the cards you got. And hope for the best. But that's all I got for y'all right now. Just want something for y'all to sit with and something to think about, you know, as you go through it. You know, you just really have this, this type of deep thought and, you know, self-awareness and enlightenment on yourself, you know. But hopefully this helps. But that's all I got into the next video. This is Wolfgang Peak. This is Wolfgang Lifestyle. And I'm out.